I slept with a billionaire who hired me as a nanny. A six-part story. Chapter 2. Charmed by the Devilishly Handsome The morning dawned bright and cheery, but the butterflies in Emily's stomach refused to subside. She had met Alex, sweet and charming as a spring lamb, but the enigmatic William Davenport remained elusive, yet his absence didn't stop his presence from permeating the mansion. Each luxurious artefact, each portrait adorning the walls, each whispered instruction from Mrs. Havisham. They all bore a silent testimony to the man's formidable character. Embracing her role as the nanny, Emily spent her morning with Alex, reading him stories and playing games. The child's easygoing nature and endearing laughter calmed her frazzled nerves, reminding her of her purpose in this opulent labyrinth. Yet, the anticipation of her imminent meeting with William Davenport lingered at the back of her mind. It wasn't until evening that Emily finally met the man who had been a constant, unsettling presence in her thoughts. William Davenport was everything society gossip and the tabloids portrayed him to be, and yet he was so much more. He was charismatic and his handsome features were only enhanced by his steely grey eyes that held an unfathomable depth. But what truly caught Emily off guard was the air of vulnerability that shrouded him, a subtle trait that was probably invisible to many, but not to Emily. Their first encounter was brief, cordial, and left Emily with a whirlpool of emotions. His voice was a warm rumble that echoed in the grand hallway, stirring something within her. His appreciative glance when he thanked her for taking care of Alex was surprisingly tender, contrasting with the confident billionaire image he otherwise projected. As Emily retired to her suite that night, her mind buzzed with the day's happenings. Meeting William Davenport had been an experience in itself. He was a puzzle, a captivating conundrum that Emily felt inexplicably drawn towards. Days turned into weeks, and Emily found herself sinking into a comfortable rhythm in the Davenport mansion. Her bond with Alex strengthened each day, and her encounters with William, although sporadic, were always laced with a thrilling undercurrent. His quick smiles, thoughtful remarks, and even his occasional aloofness held a magnetic pull. Emily's life had certainly taken an unexpected turn. This new world was strange, lavish, intimidating, and yet deeply captivating. The mansion with its grandeur held stories and secrets that she was only beginning to unravel. One thing was clear though, Emily Cartwright, the once simple country girl, was now undeniably charmed by a billionaire, devilishly handsome and intriguingly complex. In this labyrinth of silk and gold, Emily had not just found a new job, but an unexpected, thrilling and irresistible temptation. I Slept With A Billionaire Who Hired Me As A Nanny is comprised of six chapters. To watch or listen to all six chapters, why not subscribe to The Romance Diaries? Or if you want to experience your own real-life romance, why not visit one of our sponsors by clicking on a link in the description. The next chapter is Chapter 3, Moonlit Desires Unveiled.